Hi, I'm CC, and our server has a really cool rail system I want to show you. Inside of this minecart are two tickets. These tickets will tell the track junctions which way to send our minecart, so let's do a quick demonstration. And here we are. Isn't that awesome? I just I just love it so much. So let's quickly show you how it works. So the core of the system are item filters. This one here is set to the ticket A, so only minecart chests with the matching ticket will be read. Like so. Then just need to connect this up to then just connect this up to a track switcher, so only minecarts with a matching ticket will turn like so. And we go. So we have it so the item filter goes into a T flip flop which will toggle the track open, allowing as many minecarts as you want to pass through. But then to reset the track once it's done, we have a detector rail. This detector rail will read every minecart that passes over, and only when the final minecart passes over will the pulse extender down below allow the track to go back. So let's do a quick demonstration of that. Just place in an A ticket here, and then just keep sending minecarts over. And then once the final minecart passes over, the detector rail will reset and everything goes back to normal. Now, this is all you need to make a one-way system, but making two-way systems becomes a lot more complicated. Minecart tracks can only switch from left to right like this. If you were to add in another track here, it would no longer allow you to switch, meaning making a four-way intersection becomes basically impossible. So the way we do it is with roundabouts. The roundabout consists of four mini T-junctions that are marked in gold. This will convert a two-way system into a temporary one-way loop. I've marked each exit as A, B, C, and D. So let's say you wanted to go from A to B. Well, you wouldn't need a ticket since that's the default direction this roundabout goes. But if you wanted to go from A to C, just place in a C ticket. And then only the first junction will activate, sending you forward. And if you want to go from A to D, just do the same but with a D ticket. And this will activate only the first and second junction sending you right. So let's quickly show you how to build this. Okay, let's get into building it now. So you're going to want to start off with a layout something like this. And then in all the gaps between, just place down a powered rail. Then beneath all the blocks that are marked in gold, just add in a target block, like so, with redstone torches on top. Then back up top, you'll notice that two of the rails are now misaligned. The way you fix that is just go back down below and replace the torch here with a layout like this. That will put the rail back to the way you want it. And then do the same for this one too. This happens due to rails wanting to always pull south to east. So, now for the wiring down below. I'm going to use different coloured terracottas for each of the wires, but you, didn't, you can use whatever block you want. So on the left hand side of whichever side you start on, go down below and place down terracotta in this orientation with redstone dust on top. Then just do the same, rotate it 90 degrees on each side, and if you are colour coding just switch them up to whichever colour you want. These circuits will act as the way of changing the first T-junction, so you see how that one changes. Then to get the first and second one changed, just go down below and then add in terracotta in a line like this, and make a little smiley face look like that. Then just add a repeater here and here, with redstone dust in the two gaps between. Now when you power this, it will activate both the first and second junction. Well, this one will only activate the first. Then you just want to repeat that on all four sides. And there you go. That is all the wiring you need to actually make the junction function. Okay, so the next step is going to be pull out two blocks here, like so, then a detector rail and a regular rail. Then on this side, you want to go a block here and a block here, and then place down two barrels here and here. Then hoppers facing into it, and on the other side, place down two stone blocks with comparators, and then place some hoppers facing into those. Then you want to place down blocks in this pattern, 
like so. With a repeater there, redstone dust here and here, and a torch here. Then just do the same thing again, like so. This is the item filter, and these are the barrels that will collect any used tickets. So you can either reuse them again, or if you want to dispose of them, then feel free to put like droppers that go into lava or something. Then the next step is to place down two droppers, like so, with target block one block below, and then droppers on top. And then in the two top droppers, place down a piece of smooth stone or any filler item you want in there. And that is the T flip-flop. So the next step is to add in the reset line, which would just make a little terracotta blob in this shape with a block here. Then have a comparator facing this way and then one facing directly into this block. That is crucial. Make sure they are not the other way around. Then add redstone dust in the free remaining spots. So on the side here with the barrels, place down a redstone torch here with a block like so. Then put redstone dust on this block here. Then a piston next to it with terracotta on top. Then here and here with a repeater going into this block. And then make a little L shape with your terracotta and then use redstone dust like so. And that there is the ticket uh, reader and that is going to be the same on every single one of them. Then one final step for the top is place down two rails on top of these hoppers and also for the central bit, place down a block here with a lever or redstone torch underneath and that'll power the rails. Alternatively you can also replace these blocks here with redstone blocks if you would prefer, though that is a lot more expensive. And then for the next step, all you want to do is rebuild this, rotate it 90 degrees so it's this way on all four sides. So I'll be right back once I've done that. So here is all four sides filled in and the next step is going to be a slightly different one because this is more customizable. There are three different ways you can set up this roundabout and uh, I'll show you each way individually. Okay, this is where the colour coding becomes important. So you want to grab two of the matching ones from here, and next to these droppers, place down the one that is in the back on the right, and the one that's in the front on the left. Then, place down comparators here and here, going into blocks like so. We'll start with the pink line. So place down a redstone dust here, with a repeater on top, and then a block going out with that repeater, and pull it along in an L shape to this point here and then place a block next to this comparator. Then you want to place a repeater here with redstone dust running along the back. And then for the yellow line, go down below and place down terracotta here and then do the same L shape like so. And then on the last block go up by one. Then out of this block here, place a repeater, and then redstone dust running along the rest of the way. And also make sure you put a block on top of here to stop the two lines from intersecting. So the next step is going to be making the tickets. And this step is entirely customizable. You can name your tickets whatever you want. But I think the best way of doing it is by labeling, labeling the tickets where the junction is going to go. So from this junction, I've labelled it as A, B, C, and D. So my tickets will also be A, B, C, and D. And you want to grab an anvil and then rename your paper. So A, B, C, and D. So I've intentionally coloured the redstone lines to be the same as the junction that that redstone line will take you to. So the pink will take you to C and the yellow will take you to D. So from the item filter that connects to the pink line, just go to the hopper and grab 22 of the C ticket and place one ticket in each slot and the remaining 17 into the first slot. And then do the same for the yellow line, which is the D ticket. So let's do a quick test to make sure this all works. So this roundabout, without any ticket involved, should go left by default. If you put in the C ticket, it should go forward, like so. 
and then the ticket should send you right like so. So everything is working. And now you can repeat the same design on all four sides if you choose so. But as you may have noted, with this specific configuration you will always go left by default, which isn't always the preferred option. Sometimes you might want to go forward with no ticket, or you might want to go to the right with no ticket. And there is a way to do that, so let's program that. So now on the D side, let's make it so without a ticket you will go forward, but you can either have the A ticket or the C ticket to go those respective directions. And the way to do that is by going down below to here, next to this block, placing down a block here and here, with a repeater on two ticks. So now when a minecart passes over the detector rail and you have no ticket involved, it will activate this repeater, which then goes into this uh, junction, which will then send you forward. So now to program the other two directions. So let's grab some green and pink terracotta and go down to the bottom here. So I want to place down the pink on the left and the green on the right, then comparator, comparator, facing into two blocks. So these two lines here are going to have a slightly different purpose to the one over there. And that is because this is going to act as a circuit breaker. So if I quickly go over to this block here, and then place down a piston facing into it like so. And then next to it, place down a target block like this with a torch on top. That piston will now grab the block. And now we just need to connect up these two lines to this target block to make it so when a ticket goes through, it will retract this piston disconnecting this circuit. It'll make sense once I've built it. So from the green line, just place down a redstone dust here into a repeater then a block on top, block there, and then two blocks down here. Then redstone dust on all those blocks. Then for the pink line, go down below, add in a block here, bring it round to here in an L shape, but then go up the last two blocks. Then place down a repeater here with redstone dust going into it. So now, the pink line will act as normal by powering this central loop, but it will also have the redstone bypass into the target block which will deactivate the redstone torch disconnecting the circuit, and the green just goes and disconnects the circuit. So let's do a quick demonstration of how that will work, but not before adding in the tickets. So for the pink line, add in 22 C tickets, and like so, and then for the other one, the A ticket. So let's do a quick demonstration of this in action. So place down your minecart with no ticket, and as I said before, when it goes over the detector rail, it will power this circuit here, powering the first junction. Like so. Now let's do the A ticket. So place down your minecart with the A ticket in, and this will power the line going into this redstone torch, which will disconnect the circuit. So like so. So by disconnecting the circuit it will stop this junction from activating which will send you left. So that's how the A ticket will work and then for the C ticket it will basically do both things combined like so. And then there is one final configuration which will be to make the minecart go to the right when you have no ticket and it's very similar to this so let's quickly build that up. So this one is slightly different. Go down to this block here, but place the block down by one with a repeater facing in uh, on that same two ticks. Then we'll want to remove this block, then go down below and place down a piston with a gap like this, then a terracotta, and then some falling blocks. So in this case we're using concrete powder. You can use any falling block you want, sand, gravel, uh, concrete powder, anything as long as it's conductive. Then you can get rid of this block down here. Then we need to add in the next two lines, which in this case are going to be the yellow and the green line. You want to place down the green on the right and the yellow on the left, then the comparators on top, then yellow, green. So we want to start with the yellow line this time. So over here, pull down the block here, place down a repeater, then do a little L shape going up to this block here redstone dust on top of all these lines, and then a redstone torch here. 
This will power the piston, sending it upwards. I know it looks like it shouldn't, but it does. Then for the green line, we will want to add in the redstone dust here with a repeater on top, going into another L shape. It goes up to here, and then place a block on top of this concrete powder. Then place a repeater here, and then redstone dust going on to there. Then from next to this redstone torch, place down a green terracotta here, here, and here. With redstone dust here and here, and then a repeater going into there. And that should be the wiring setup for right by default. So let's do a quick test of that. But not before adding in the tickets. So a ticket on the right, and D ticket on the left. So without a ticket, you should go right by default, like so. Then with the D ticket, you should go to the left, like so. And then go with the A ticket, and you should go forward, like so. And this is the roundabout done and sorted. I hope it makes sense. If it does not, then feel free to ask any questions down below in the comment section. I will try my best to respond with answers and stuff, and if there is enough uh, confusion I will make a second part that goes more into adjusting it and sorting it. So I hope you all enjoyed, I have plenty more videos to make on the subject, I can make some station concepts, all sorts of concepts, and some other types of junction as well since this isn't the only type, but I just wanted to get the idea out and just show you what we have so far and yeah so i hope you all enjoyed once again feel free to ask questions in the comments uh, subscribe for future stuff and also check out my smp series where i am currently building the rail and applying it in different cool ways on the server so i hope you all enjoyed make sure you check that out and i'll see you next time bye